Hey guys, so I have a couple questions for you. Uh, just, you know, comment your answers or whatever down below. And, uh, but anyway, I'm looking for input. Um, three questions. Number one, what do you look for in a store? Like, before you buy from, you know, a cubing, a cubing shop, what, what things matter to you when purchasing an item from a store? Um, you know, you could say prices, you could say customer service, you know, just anything like that. Just let me know what you think about that. Um... Question number two, how much time would you put into a contest that would potentially let you win an 11 by 11 cube? Like, you know, how many hours uh, would would make it worth it to win an 11 by 11? Like, how many hours would you put in? So that's the second question, because, uh, you know, we may or may not be doing an 11 by 11 contest soon. And the third question is, um, about our store in particular, would it annoy you guys if we sold... Like, I think you guys saw that Katana... Switchblade, pepper spray, throwing knife video unboxing we did a while back. Um, and like what I'm what I'm wondering is, would it annoy you guys if we sold those as well on our store? And uh, if so, why would it annoy you? Because I can imagine you know some people saying, oh yeah, it's annoying. Stores just you know start going and start selling everything instead of just one product. But on the other side, if we still have the cheapest you know prices and good customer service, why do you care? So I'm looking for, you know, real reasons why would it would or would not annoy you if we sold those kind of things on our site. And, uh, yeah, just post um, answers below. Specify which question you're answering. You know, try to answer all three if you have answers for them. And uh, I will look at your responses and try to adjust the site and such accordingly. So thank you for your input.